Guys, this video is a cumulative of some everything that happens in Biggie's house today. Like today, everything. So we're gonna do it one after the other, shot by shot. Anyway, let's start from TJ, Mickey, and Handy Wani Twins. Hmm. Mickey said that Handy Wani Twins is not the type of girls he wants. Like he's not. They are not his type. And how this conversation started. Anyway, TJ and Mickey were having a conversation at the lodge while Handy Wani Twins was busy on their own, dancing, hyping. Of course, it's their job. is is their job. You get? They were busy dancing, hyping, and, you know, doing their normal morning routine, rubbing cream, face, uh, doing cleans cleansing their face, rubbing moisturizer, like no, doing morning routine, like in you know, hey. And they were, as they were doing this morning routine, they were dancing, singing, while, you know, Biggie was actually playing a, a song in the house. And TJ called them Wahala Twins. After, as TJ was looking at them, TJ told, um, Mickey, that these twins, the identical twins, but when you when you live with them, you go no say they are different. They have different personality. You can tell you if they have this friend personality, they, their energy is different and all of that. They will actually go spin about them. And TJ was actually not saying something like not going into that you know negative direction, but Mickey, of course, you know, say Mickey is always a hypocrite. Mickey is a gossiper like Onyeka. <laughs> the gossip in male form is Mickey. Mickey now took over say yes, we well, twins that um he don't like them, that they are not his type. Like he has even told um a family David that these twins are not his type of girls. Just imagine if look at Mickey. <laughs> Handy Wani don't suffer in Biggie's house. Just what is even Mickey thinking? Like Mickey now, in his mind now, he, he thought that he's now a celebrity. Because yesterday he was having a conversation at the lodge with Stood where he was saying um that when he was coming to the show, he has 1,600 followers uh, on Instagram. Like her Instagram followers was 1,600 uh, followers. But he knows that before now, he might be reaching like 500k. <laughs> that he will be like, maybe that he's very sure that by now he'll be like 500k followers. <laughs> I bet they could help me go check Mickey's followers by now. Like, I don't know what he's thinking by saying that Handy and Wani Twins, Handy and Wani Twins, who has even, who is even popular before the show, they have made their way, They've ha their hard work has already paid. Why Mickey? Hey. Anyway, let's move to another Giz Jare. So here, hey, Zinwe, Zion and Chingwe, there's, if I, I can say that there's 90% possibility that Chingwe is truly pregnant. Chingwe wakes up in Biggie's house around 9, 10 a.m. <laughs> Chingwe sleeps everywhere. <laughs> and today they were having a conversation. They were having a deep conversation where they were discussing about the missing period. They are still looking for the period though. He be like say, this year money is pregnant. Biggie, we have a grand, a grandson, a like a grandchild in Biggie's house. Yes, the first year for Biggie to have a grandchild in the Biggie's house because it's happening. It's obvious that Chime Chime might look, it might look pregnant. She might be pregnant. I can say because the conversation. Zion and Chingwe were having here. Zion was actually worried. Was like, oh, what is happening? Like, did he? The how long has you know the period been missing? Because and now Zion was asking Chingwe, oh, did it happen like what the other time? The last time, I think something like this has occurred when they were outside the house where Chingwe missed her period. I don't know what happened. So Zion was asking Chingwe, is it the same that the one that happened last time? Chingwe was like, no, that is not the same. That this one is taking um longer. Hmm that this one is taking longer and zion kept mood zion kept mood as i was looking at her with this kind of face with this kind of bombastic side eye <laughs> so now it's the same zion saying chingwe is not your spec and all that what if chingwe is pregnant 
Hey, what is going to happen? Is Zion going to marry her? Is Zion going to accept the baby? What is going to happen? Because the same Zion has come publicly, um, you know, publicly to say that Tiwe is not the speck, that he's only interested in the nyash and only nyash she wants. And after the show, he will just dump her and blah, 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 telling the whole world how they, they, they don't knock the first time, knock the second time in the house. Hey, <laughs> hey. Pregnancy don't come on. Waiting Zion go do your spec go be your wife, whether you like it or not. Anyway, make we move into another gist jare. Mm, my favorite fake ship. Yes, yeah, so this ship is fake and not real. So <laughs> Anita and Tofa. So here, Anita and Tofa, this ship was having a, a deep converse, a conversation where Anita was telling Tofa her her terrifying experience so according to anita anita was telling tofa that there was a time in port Harcourt when he was a port Harcourt way to fall into the hands of fake modeling agency according to her she said that she wanted to be a model a model and there was a fake modeling agency who she contacted she she got she somehow got contact of this modeling agency and they gave her address gave her you know everything about this modeling stuff and the day she was actually going for auditioning or for training she didn't know is a fake modeling agency and that is how she fall into the hands of kidnappers she was kidnapped and robbed of everything that the family paid ransom and she was actually saying that this is her most traumatizing and terrifying experience it's actually a very deep you know conversation anita was telling uh, uh you know and you no know, and she was narrating this story i think she felt emotional she was she felt emotional and was like sharing tears like tears was actually coming down and that's when tofa was like oh this is your past everybody has experience you don't need to cry over that please just let's go thank god we are alive they did not buy you she was he you know, tofa was like encouraging her that there are a lot of people who who were into this kidnapping victim of a teen and they didn't make it they didn't survive just thank your god you are alive thank your god you are survived thank your god they release you if you are fine and that your modeling agency no dreams can die I feel her pain. I feel her pain uh, because if you have been a victim of kidnapping, you know the traumatizing and terrifying experience. Not even what to lose. Your experience, your last for you praying that, oh God, maybe this will be your last day. Oh my God, it's really traumatizing and experience. And I wish her, I hope she recovers from it. So another gist is Onyeka and Femi David. You see this picture here? This is Femi D David kissing Onyeka's forehead. <laughs> Onyeka na owe dao. Oh, with that, on your kind of MTN, everywhere you go. Ah, uh -uh. <laughs> even I say, Onyeka is giving up on Ozzy for Victoria and what is happening. Today, Onyeka and Femi Devi was see, you know, having a morning dance. Of course, now say Onyeka likes dancing. She likes whining, whining waist. Yes, and she has a soft, you know, flexible body. So everywhere they whine. So they were whining, uh, you know, whining and dancing with Femi Devi today. And, ah, ah, that's all Femi con hogamo. Con de kiss, ah, ah, ah. Hey, hey. In my mind, I was like, ah, ah, waiting, they soft, waiting. I um, didn't see this ship coming, no. Like, is this a ship? I've been a canoe. <laughs> Should we? Sh mm -mm. I, I don't trust Onyeka at all. I can't ship. Like, shipping Onyeka with anybody in the house. I'm doing that at my own peril, like at my own risk. Because the kind heartbreak and disappointment is where I go get. So it's better I leave Onyeka to do her thing. Because. <laughs> Even on Yeka's gossip, as where well she did gossip, she wouldn't even have time to focus on her ship. <laughs> I think gossip is her is her hobby. Yes, on Yeka's hobby that gossip. So anyway, I saw this. I was like, okay, make like I can't tell you now. Say so waiting the shop. Whether we go ship this, I mean, I will just stay one corner. They look them with uh, our bombastic side eye until. Uh -huh, both of them made each other's interest known to them. We've got no support for now. Let's just say that they are cruising, but cruising for kissing? Uh -huh, okay, it's well, oh.
So here is the only couple in the house, the only legally married husband and wife couple in the house. Double K, Cassia and Kelly. Hmm, they have settled their differences. No, as husband and wife, there will be issue, there will be misunderstanding and all of that. But settling, what matters is having issue and settling is what makes you real husband and wife or partner. So they have settled their issue. They were seen together oh, in a romantic moment too. <laughs> in a romantic moment. Like you guys watch the few clip down there and but there was even a point where they were dancing to Fela Kuti latest song anyway I love their vibes I love their energy honestly husband and wife feed them well where you sued them where they understood each other and I think this is because they have dated for years because according to their story they say they have dated for 10 years and they just got married last few months ago I can say February yeah I can say February this year so I think they have known each other too well and they have known and understand how to handle each other in case of trials and crises and all of that I just love their energy I love the bond they share and I love the understanding and maturity all of you saying that marriage go crash and I don't see them now they don't reconcile or they have made and they are happy as a happily uh they are back as a happily married couple i think they i think i need to end here a lot of these are coming please don't forget to subscribe and to my returning subscribe thanks for coming by see on that bell turn on the notification bell gung, 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 so that we can we can be notified whenever i upload a new video anyway my name is blessing martin a nigeria youtuber based in anambra state nigeria here to give you all bb niger season 9 2024 team no lose guard latest update update all the bad boys i'm here to serve you hot hot oh don't forget to subscribe